Hey guys, welcome back again. So if we remember, we started working on syncing the clips and getting the cinematics. Then we moved on to transitions and banner crop. And now we're gonna do compositing and sound effects. So what we're gonna do now is, as you can see, we have the clip and everything here already. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and click the first one, the top one, which is the last cinematic. Go to the first uh, clip and hold shift while left clicking on this clip so what that will do that will select everything that is in the top from the top to the bottom and right click and click pre-compose and what we will call this we'll actually call this clips so now what that's done is that's pre-composed the, all, all the clips together and what we're going to do is add in our, our rsmb now also need to install this as an additional plugin i do recommend just youtubing uh where to get it from and and you'll just find something and just install it uh so i'm just gonna go ahead and add the rsmb okay so now i've added in my rsmb uh just to help you with the settings i have i've put in rsmb pro i have gp on gpu on uh the main blur is at 0.50 and the sensitivity on 70 and also I tick this box if it isn't ticked already. Also, I've added in um, BCC Magic Shop, Magic Shop. What that basically does is that adds in, uh, that makes the clip more sharper and it gives it more, uh, makes it more defined. So that we've added those two in, um, but we'll talk about that after. But we're gonna move on to before that, is, before adding those two, we're gonna start adding in our effects. As we can see, we have our impact, but we have we don't have any actual impact. So what we're gonna do is Control Alt Y, get our adjustment layer, and we're going to go for about three, four frames back. Control Shift D, cut the left bit out, and we're going to go about ten. Oh, about to the end where the cinematic starts and cut that out. Now what I'm gonna do is add our effects. So I'm just gonna quickly add in my secret presets and I'll be right back. All right, so now what I've added in is uh, shake, flicker, exposure, transform. Um, I'll just give you the quick settings just so you can see what I've done. I've basically added in my first shake with a amplitude of 1.63 I simply animated that from 0 to that and it goes to 0 later on then what I've added is another shake with the same with just a lower amplitude oh, for the X shake I've put these are the X shake settings feel free to pause and have a look the Y shake settings, Z shake settings, and tilt shake settings. Um, so that's for the first shake, and then here's the second shake settings. Yep, and now I also have added in exposure, which uh, just makes it a little bit brighter on the kill. So I've just basically added it in and keyframe from the start for zero and then go to the kill and put it up to one and then just put it to zero later on when it's um about under the cinematic or where you wherever you want it to stop that's where you just drag it to zero then put in my flicker same thing amplitude at zero it goes to about three I've done it after the kill though so that you can see that some of it see have the flicker effect and i've made it uh, stay for a bit and then go down um, later on then these are also the settings feel free to pause and have a look at them quickly and for the transform I have made it so this is basically an additional pan and crop um, what this does is it adds more of a punch to the kill I've made it so it goes from 100 to 126 to back to 100 and if you have a quick have a look at the graphs for the scale it goes in and then comes back out 
Um, I'm not gonna show you all this, the graphs, so um, just feel free to like figure them out and try and play around with them. But uh, just let me know in the comments if you have any issues. So that's our impact. If we have, let's have a look at it real quick. It's very subtle, but it, it's still you can still tell that there's an impact there. Now, that's uh, just for the impact I've added. Now what you can do is, as before, like I said, as we go back into it, we've got our RSMB and our sharpening. And if we have a look at the clips with it, what it does is it adds that motion blur effect. Um, so, this is what it looks like with it. Perfect. Now I'm just going to add in a few of my own effects and I'll see you then. Alright, so I've just added in my own effects, um, just a few presets, a few overlays, um, and now we're just going to see what the final product looks like. Okay, so now the only thing we're missing is sound effects. So I've got a bunch of sound effects on the left, as you can see. I've got my whooshes and I've got a pump sound effect. So what I'm going to do is start off with the shotgun sound effect. So what we're going to do is head over to where the shot starts and drag in the shotgun sound effect underneath the clip and double click L and find where the shot starts. So once you find that, put it at the start and let's just quickly play that through and see what it sounds like. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty loud. I'm gonna just turn off my effects real quick so it's easier. So it's pretty loud. So what we're gonna do is click L once and that will bring the audio levels. And we're gonna drag it down to about negative six. Let's see what that sounds like. Pretty good, but now what we wanna do is add a bit of a whoosh behind it. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna bring in a whoosh and find where the buildup happens. So see there's this buildup over here. What we're gonna do is put that behind just where the shot happens and you'll see the difference it makes once you add a whoosh in behind it. Yep, so that adds like a power behind the, the gun. Um, so it's important to add your whooshes behind everything you can. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my whooshes in to the cinematics and I will get back to you once I've done that. All right, so uh, I've done all the sound effects as you can see down here, those whooshes. Um, I did add an extra shotgun shot at the cinematic. So let's see the final result. The final result. Perfect, all right. So that's everything with the video. I've added in sync the clips, we've done the cinematics, we've got the pen and crumb, the effects. Um, the effects that I've added in, the extra ones, I might make a tutorial on, on those. See the effects here. Um, feel free to comment down below what type of content you'd like to see um, and if I should make more of these. So thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed.